Hey you guys, welcome to your weekend edition Love in General reading. This is for the element of fire. So this is for those of you who are Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, whether it's your sun, moon, and rising sign. These messages are for you for the weekend of January 10th through 12th, 2020. I want to thank you guys for liking, sharing, and subscribing to my channel. I ask that you all please continue to do so. Remember, these are general, so they may or may not resonate, but hopefully they give you some clarity. Um, those of you that want to book your personal or private reading, uh, payments are collect collected on Fridays. So make sure that you um, have the updated price list. I just updated the price list this year. Um, so you can get that uh, price list, make your payment. If you want to reach me by phone, that's a different process. I normally post up the notifications when I'm taking the calls. And then if you guys just want to support my channel in general, be sure to check out my Patreon. So the information is in the description box below. Let's go ahead and get started here. We have the central issue, Heart of the Matter, as the Empress. We have Justice. We have Five of Wands. We have the Nine of Swords, Hanged Man, Queen of Cups, Ace of Pentacles, and Seven of Swords. Um, all right, so you guys, I feel, are there's something that you're desiring, something that you want, and I do feel that whatever it is that you're desiring is going to manifest. Um, I'm also seeing like some sort of business deal or business agreement. I'm getting a couple of energies from this. Um, I'm getting a situation where maybe there is some sort of physical attraction between two people, but they are trying to fight it. Or there is some sort of uh, frustration in regards to how to move forward. I feel like there is also a sense of pride in the way of, a, of your situation. Or pride is in the way of someone making a decision. So if you are needing to make any type of decisions over the weekend that are pretty important... Um, especially dealing with any type of business matters, I feel that you really need to um, make an informed decision, make sure that you have all the information presented to you, because I feel like you're trying to be fair or just in whatever decision you're trying to make. You're like, I can't make a right, a fair decision unless I hear both sides of the story. You may be weighing your options about a situation as well. Mm. I'm also getting things about beauty and luxury. So I don't know if you're making some sort of business purchases where you're... Um, you're going out and buying things that beautify you or beautify your home. Some of you may be interested in someone who is either Libra, Taurus, um, maybe Aquarius, uh, Cancer, Scorpio, or a Pisces. Now I'm also feeling that a decision is being placed on hold. <clears throat> so it's like something something that you're wanting or someone that you're wanting like you're having anxiety about it I feel like you're trying to find answers or there's something that you're trying to peer through um, but it's like you can't see like your vi your vision is blocked your third eye might be blocked like I feel like you are, aren't able to find the information that you're trying to find. It's like you're in time out or like you're just still having to wait for something. Mm, you may need to isolate yourself over the weekend or spend some time alone. 
to figure things out. I also feel that you are maybe confused about games. I don't know if you feel that someone is trying to play mind games or you're trying to see ahead of the game. Maybe you're trying to figure out what someone's next move is going to be. Something does seem like a game. I'm looking at these chess pieces. I think you're starting to go crazy because you can't figure something out. There's something you can't you can't quite see. You're blocked. Your energy is blocked. Something's definitely being delayed. Um, you may need to just relax and stop trying to figure something out. Just take a break. Take a time out. Take a breather. There may be a, a need for you to do some sort of meditation. Hmm. You also may need to surrender to a situation instead of fighting with it because here it looks like you're fighting with something. Something also may be your karma or this is some sort of karmic debt and you're like, but why? Why is this my karma? Why, is, why do I have to take this? Or why should I do this, that, and the other? I, I feel like maybe you're trying to figure out some divine um, message or some situation that you're in and you just can't figure it out. So all you do, you just kind of throw your hands up or you surrender to, surrender to it. Or maybe you're realizing that you need to just make some sort of sacrifice in your life. So any type of sacrifice, meaning that you give something up that you want to have something else. Um, I almost want to say that everything has a price or nothing is for free. Everything comes at a cost. Um, hmm, 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 hmm. It's like maybe you are like, what's the catch? So, I mean, let's say you went shopping for a car or something was a free giveaway. And you're like, nothing's for free. And you, you say, let me go ahead and take a look. So you get curious about something. And whatever it is that you're curious about, you know, something has your interest. So you start digging deeper. Um, you're looking for some sort of loopholes, but you can't figure it out. And you're like, you, you're at the car dealership and you're like, you mean to tell me that I don't have to make a down payment? And they're like, no, no down payment. It's yours. Drive it off the lot. Just sign your con this contract here. And the minute you sign the contract, as they're going over it, they're like, yeah, so by the, um, within the next three months, you just have to pay us $5,000 and, you know, this, and it's just like, whoop, breaks? Like, what do you mean? $5,000? I don't have $5,000. So I, I feel like something isn't as it seems it's like yeah you get to uh have the car right then and there but you had to sacrifice like a big chunk of your pay or something within the next three months to to repay for that debt or for them being able to accommodate you in that way so i, I feel like there's period there's something that you need to let go of or give up to in order so that something can you can have something or whatever it is that you want, you have to give something up. Let's say, okay, you want to lose weight. Easier example. You want to lose weight. That's not rocket science. There's some that means you have to give something up. You know, if you if you if that's what you really want, if that's what you are really desiring, um, let's say the two most extreme uh, diets right now are are either veganism or the keto diet. You know, and it's just like, you've got to give something up to get what you want. You're trying to lose that weight. If you want to lose that weight, we'll give it to you. Um, but, you know, pick something. Which diet do you want to do? It looks because it looks like which one is best for you. So you're trying to figure out what's best for you to get your desires in order to have your desires. Maybe you're trying to compare two people. Maybe it's, you know, similar situations where 
you keep attracting the same type of person and it's down to the last two, not, I don't want to say the last, but let's say you've already gone through the process of elimination and, and, just, and it's down to two people. And it's just like one person has this, that, and the other, but they don't have that and the other person, you know, maybe they have what the other person is missing, but they don't have this. It's like, what do you choose? What do you pick? What do you want? So I feel like in order to have something, you got to make that sacrifice. Um, someone's definitely also maybe reaching out to you or you may uh, be dreaming about someone. I'm getting like someone feeling very emotional over the weekend. Um, let's say too, you are someone who's too proud to express yourself emotionally to someone. And it's just like, hey, you know, like I even joke, I say, I, I, I say I'm the type of person, is, I'm playing but not playing. But it's just like I'm the type of person that I said, I'll take my undying love for you to the grave. Instead of, you know, I'm, it's very hard for me sometimes to let someone know that I care about them. So maybe that's something that you're needing to do. Maybe it's like, hey, you can't hold back your feelings. If you want to have love in your life, then you've got to you've got to express that. You've got to say something, you know, and it, it does look like this is some sort of prideful energy going on here. And it does look like it has something to do with emotions here. Maybe you're just holding on to them. You're thinking about it. And you're like, I don't know what to say. Or you're just waiting for the right time. Um, and maybe you're having like a lot of anxiety because you, you want to express how you feel, but you're afraid. So I feel like there's a need for you to let go of some sort of ideas, or maybe there's some sort of preconceived ideas that you might be having and you kind of have to let them go in order to get your desires here, because it's here is something that you want is here, but you got to let go of another to have it. So that can be for, you know, a number of things. Now, there's also a situation where either someone may be snooping on you or you might be snooping on someone. There definitely looks like someone's trying to see something. They're like, I can't see. I can't see. Give me the, give me the binoculars. Or, you know, I just need to be a little closer. And someone is trying not to get caught. Um, so someone is tiptoeing around. I feel like someone's peeking and trying not to get caught, trying to find out as much information as they can without getting caught. But I feel like someone is getting nervous. If you are the one doing snooping, I feel like you are the one getting very nervous because you feel like, oh, I could get caught. You know, you're trying to quickly scroll through someone's feet without liking a picture by accident. Um, I'm not saying that you will get caught, but it's just more so about nervousness this time. Um... I feel like someone wants to offer something. There's this opportunity here for either something new, like a new job or new love. It's something new being presented to you. But the way it's being presented to you is deceptive. Is like I said here with that whole example I gave earlier. It's like, what what's it cost or what comes with this price tag? You know, what's the lowdown? So something comes at a cost. Something is being wrapped to you. It's like a gift. Something is like a gift to you. And the it's wrapped up. But when you, un, when a, you unravel the gift, it's something that is completely unexpected, I feel. Because I feel like you are either intentionally trying to throw someone off or someone is trying to throw you off. So it makes me think of you receiving a present that is in a box that's about, you know, a, a gigantic box that's like five by nine. <laughs> and you're like, what is in this big old box? And you open up the box and it's just a wallet or something and it's just like why did you do that why did you I didn't want you to guess what it was I didn't want you to figure it out so it's kind of like but still <laughs> so I feel like someone is gifting you something 
inconspicuously. I don't know. Now, I also feel like maybe someone has possibly bought an engagement ring, but it's hidden. Um, or some of you have been doing some secretive spending. You're spending behind someone's back. Hmm. Let me look at a, clarify a few things. So I'm going to look at the Nine of Swords. I, I just keep hearing you're going to have to wait and find out. You may receive a gift and you're like, who gave me this gift? Who left this here for me? And it's like, you'll have to wait and see. So someone is at a distance. I feel like someone is at a distance watching another person. I also feel that a message was left out for someone to see. Someone left something out for the other person to see on purpose. And now they're waiting to see if they caught on to it. So there are some sort of indirect messages being left out or sent out. Um, this also has something to do with a wish fulfillment or a dream coming true. You could have had a dream that you received something or a dream you were in a relationship, a dream that you were pregnant and something does come into fruition. So I do feel like you may have had a premonition um, nine days ago nine weeks ago, maybe even nine months ago. So I would suggest going back to that dream journal. Even look at the ninth month, which is September, and look at the ninth day. Like nine may be of some sort of significance. Mm. Some of you definitely have a secret admirer or you are admiring someone. It could be a fire sign looking at an air sign or an air sign looking at a fire sign. You may have two love potentials and you're trying to figure out who to go with. You're confused. You don't want to make an emotional decision. Some, something has been weighing on you heavily. Mm, I also feel that either you have received some sort of advice to leave a situation or you are giving someone advice to leave a situation. Hmm. Also, I feel that whatever you're nervous about... The universe is saying, don't worry about it because we've got you. We're looking out for you. We're going to give you whatever it is that you've been praying for. Um, whatever you've been having anxiety about, no need to worry about that. So I feel like spirit is looking out for you. Whatever, I also see this as your faith being restored. Like there's something that you maybe you've lost hope or you feel like giving up. You, there was something that you desire, but maybe it hasn't come into fruition or you can't figure out how it's coming. Um, and that's another thing. You might be too caught up into how something is supposed to play out instead of just letting it play out. So just know that you're going to get whatever it is that you're seeking. Let's say you had a reading a couple of months ago and the reader was like, no, you're going to have this. You know, it's coming. It's coming. And you trusted the reader, maybe some time has gone over than what was predicted. And you're like, oh my God, it's not happening. It's not happening. I feel like it's just not happening the way you thought it would. Or because it, it missed the time frame that you thought it was going to happen. 
that you just start getting nervous and thinking that it's not going to happen, but it is. Something is going to happen. Something is on the way. So you may feel like you're at the end of your rope in a situation, but I, I feel like something happens to restore your faith. Um, let me also look at the Seven of Swords. I see someone definitely just kind of peeking out like you're if you have a secret admirer I feel like they're peeking out and testing the waters this weekend they want to see if there's a chance with them if you would be interested you know what I'm leaving that whole pal out I feel like spirit said said don't pick that up the none of the answers in, in that pal Okay, so Four of Wands is indicating that, like I said, there's some sort of secret gift coming to your home, um, or there's some sort of secret celebration going on. This might even be like a surprise party. Something is key. Something is key. Huh. I feel like there's going to be some sort of breakthrough. Like someone is getting something off of their chest, whatever it is someone has been hiding. I feel that it's going to be revealed because they can't hide something anymore. So there, someone is getting something off of their chest. I feel like someone is reaching a milestone. I feel like you may also reach some sort of milestone, even if you had to do something in a secretive way. Someone is moving forward with plans without telling other people. I see a surprise engagement for a lot of you. And it could be a situation where maybe someone has already asked for the parents' permission. Um, and now it's just a matter of them coming forward. So for some of you, yeah, it's a surprise engagement. Someone definitely is leaving uh, clues out or they're leaving messages out for you to find or you might be the one doing this. You might receive some sort of invitation. I feel like if you receive some sort of invitation just maybe get outside of your comfort zone and go, especially if you feel like you're an introvert. Um, you don't normally do something. I feel like you're being asked to step outside of your comfort zone because this surprise or something might pay off. Or if you go to this event, you might meet the right business partner or romantic partner. Yeah, it's something there for you. Something has been left for you. Um, hmm. I'm getting kind of like Secret Santa. I know Christmas is over, but that's that's just kind of what I'm getting. Maybe it's a late present or something that got lost or stolen is being ret returned or restored. Hmm. Hmm. Yeah, okay, I'm gonna leave it at that and we're gonna go ahead and look at some energy cards. I just got lone, the lone wolf. I don't know if that makes sense for somebody. Someone is a loner. All right, what additional messages are there for fire signs? Aries, Leo, Sagittarius for this Friday, Saturday, and Sunday.
So we have Second Chakra, Archangel Ariel. We have Angel of Strength. We have Goddess of the Moon. And we have Victory. So, oh, I forgot to pick these up. All right, so Second Chakra, uh, maybe you've had some sort of blockage uh, with your second chakra, which is the sacral chakra. Um, so maybe you guys are needing to work on that, work on meditation. Um, some of you also, I'm seeing celibacy. Some of you could have been holding on to celibacy. It looks like you were trying to resist or you were trying to strengthen. Some of you all might be, my female viewers might be doing kegels um, over the weekend. Do your kegels, women. Are you doing them? I am. <laughs> Make it strong. No, but seriously, um, some of you also may, may have been trying to hold out and uh, trying to protect that sacred area. Maybe you've been saving yourself. And it looks like there's victory because I do feel like if it's a matter of th that sexual energy and holding out for the right one, I feel that you're going to be victorious in that. Now, if it doesn't happen this weekend, um, I feel like eventually that is what is happening. Well, you know, overall, that's maybe what's happening. And so whoever you're holding out for, even if, regardless if you know them or not, I just feel like that person will be the right one for you. Um, I feel like your intuition is going to prove itself right. Um, you may be feeling very intuitive over the weekend, matter of fact. I feel like your empathic abilities may be shining. This also looks like someone is leaving out an SOS or a big clue like this looks like someone is leaving out a sign or a post someone is shining or flashing a light so that they can be seen and I feel like whoever is trying to get your attention or if you are trying to get some someone's attention there's going to be victory um, especially if something has been a mystery because I'm getting here with the moon something looks mysterious or something has been a mystery maybe where you've been trying to solve a mystery and you finally get some sort of confirmation so I feel like something's being made clear to you I also feel like angels are protecting you yeah I feel like you're protected uh, whatever you are afraid of because you also might have some fears here with you know the moon energy I feel like whatever you have been afraid to face there's no need for you to have that fear because you are capable of dealing with whatever you're headed towards whatever situation you get into you're you know you are built for it you can handle it Hmm. You also could have been playing hard to get or someone could have been playing hard to get with you. And I keep seeing something like music. I don't know if someone is playing a song for you or you playing a song for someone. Someone may, it may have took a lot of strength for someone to open up and reveal their true feelings. Yeah, it looks like someone's putting their feelings on display, but it was hard for them to do because someone likes to appear strong and in control of their emotions but someone's like this is how I feel and I want you to see or I want everyone to see or everyone to know I also feel like you're just you're being inspired I wouldn't be surprised if someone sang or wrote a song to you though or wrote a poem for you I just keep getting the smell of sweet victory. So I feel like you're also overcoming any type of blockages, any obstacles. And if any, uh, if you had any enemies or competitors, 
I feel like you will defeat them. You will overcome them because also because you took the high road. You did something from um, a higher realm. You used your intuition or your knowledge to guide you, which gets you through. And I also feel like you were patient in making some sort of choice or decision, which leads to victory. I'm getting music again. I feel like something significant is expressed through song or music this weekend. I don't know if you're doing it. Oh, I just keep seeing music notes. Someone might uh, post a song uh, expressing how they feel about you. And maybe it's an indirect message, but it confirms what you already thought. So, yeah, those are the messages that I'm getting. Um, I hope it makes sense. I hope it resonates. Please feel free to leave your comments. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. Many blessing blessings to you.